Hi everyone, today I'm going to discuss about how to use user controls in Java NetBeans application. That is, today in this video, that I'm going to talk about text field, text area, and panel. How to use those things in your application. To do that, just you need to get started with new project and select on Java and then Java application. Do next and give your Java application name. And then do finished. After doing so, you will get to you will get one your main class. So you just you just don't need to do know this. And just what you need is you need to expand this text field your project name and then go to your main package and right click on it, go to new and take a J frame J frame form right and create one form new form and then to finish and then you will get one form and just drag it how much you want and you can drag it and if you want change then change properties but I don't want to change here anything that I'm going to show how to use those other controls right and the first the first first thing that I'm going to take here panel you know one panel is one user control that is used over main Java application and that I used right and then go to properties Offering that if you want to change background color, go to background and change your background color. Yeah, I change it to blue. Now it turns into blue color. And then that today I'm gonna say if you want to write something, then you need one control that is called J label. And then the main purpose of J label is to write something to display some message or some something that is not interactable with users right now here what I'm going to write is text field and text area in Java right if you want to increase the size of font go to properties and then change here front and then click OK if you want to increase size of text, increase size, I, I increase to 36 and then you will get this, yeah, it's actually nice, right? Yeah, that's fine. Now, the main thing that you want to talk about text field and text area. This is my text field. I want this size and I don't want to change the font size for this and font size is bold and 18. Yeah, that's good. And then I don't need this text, right? And if I want multiple or more number of text field, then I can do copy, control C and control V co copy paste add paste it again copy and paste it yeah I want 4 then I will copy paste 4 here I have copy paste 4 yeah. then I will change variable name this is text field 1 or second one text field 2 T of fair right shortcut yeah for this T of 3 and then for this T of 4 yeah text text field completed now the next thing is that we need to talk about text area you know right why we actually use text area is if you want, if you want to give your address or if you want to give some comment then you need more number of lines to be returned right so for that purpose you are using text area 
if you decode this text area the score go direct to the properties and then if you want to change background change background if you don't want to change the background you don't need to change right it will give by default if you want to change text size then increase your text size and then if you want to give border for your text area just go to properties and select on border and then give your border right that I'm going to give here 2 2 2 2 all side 2 2 right and then click ok that, that's finished yeah that's good right now yeah and then I will take one button for submitting those all your data whatever you are typing there then you need to get submit right and then I will give text here submit and then I will make it center yeah that's fine now just what you need to do is on submit you need to you need to get those all values right for the first time that what I'm going to show here is I will make it thrown and let's see how it looks you know it's running it will take some time to run your application and it will display in the in the form of your JFrame right and then you, you don't you need to do is you need to get those all values or, or all the things that what you have written or you are typing inside your text area and text field to get those values in your inside your code that I'm going to show the next and it's running it's taking time to run your application just wait for a while it will display your output and and then we'll go for the next step that is to get your values from your application right yeah it's running it's running it's coming right it'll come just wait for a while yeah this output that we are getting we are getting from that and thus if if you do something if you type something here and something something and address something if you submit here you will get nothing right you will get nothing because you, you haven't write any code to do that if you want to get these values inside your code then let's let's get this started now just you need to do is go to the button design and right click on your button go to events and action action perform click on it and you will get navigate to your code section right here and then just you need to get your your values from there and string string for first name last name gmail and age yeah in text area address right address and then thus you, you need to get first name is equal to from text one dot get text dot to string to string the function that converts your values into a string and last name text field to dot get text dot to string right now instead of doing these all things that we can copy and paste for the for all other three things and you can get from text field 3 text field 4 and text field no this is text area right 
yeah for text area i have one given any variable name go to text area change the variable name as ta and then that error will be rectified yeah and then that i'm going to say first name last name and gmail edge address and then i'm going to print it here system dot out dot print ln first name is equal to plus first name and i'm going to here is uh, copy it and paste copy paste yeah first name last name and here plus last name yeah and then gmail gmail edge you know like gmail gmail yeah i spelling I spelling mistake sorry for that and edge let's say this is address and you can get address from variable called address right and then run it you will get output and this is how it works and how it it is easy to handle it on Java application right now we'll write here my first name is Freetham and last name is Thring and my gmail is Freetham at the red gmail dot com and this is my edge 21 and this is address Tirupati India Wrap the road and then click on submit you will get output here right yes we are getting output here whatever you are typing there you are getting first name as Pritam last name thing gmail Pritam Tilama whatever you are typing uh, I mean to get the values that you are typing in this text field and text area you need to do in this way hope you guys you you all get the how to work on text field and text area and if you like this video like subscribe my channel and in next videos i'm going to talk about other controls how to use those controls